Hey everyone, Adam here. Uh, just wanted to do this video to introduce uh, in the year of 2016, tell you my vision for the year and what I'm hoping to achieve with Cup From Above. Um, so uh, with, it's three and a half years we've been going for it. It's, uh, last year exceeded all my expectations. Uh, the Christmas was amazing. We handed out hundreds of hampers to the poorest of the poor in um, southeast Queensland and you know, around North Brisbane. And um, we had a real feast uh, at the cafe. And I, the sense of community, the sense of family that um, we were able to foster was amazing. Um, and I, it was a great way to end the year. And um, I'm really excited how we can expand upon that this year. Uh, look, one of the, you, you would all know that um, one of the issues here has been uh, that we've, as a team and myself as an individual, been inundated with people in crisis situations. And it's left me um, in a state of exhaustion. I, I finished end of last year where um, I'd get to the weekend, I'd sleep from Friday night all the way through to Saturday night. Um, and I, I slept for 24 hours, for two weekends in a row, and then I had a week off just now uh, to completely rest and was sleeping 18 hours a day. And I, was, I ended last year in a total state of exhaustion, and I don't want to do that again. And I've been considering how do we proceed forward um, to avoid this. What's the best way? How do we how do we manage as well as a, myself as an individual and as a team? Um, one of the issues is that uh, we're undernourished. We go from crisis to crisis every single day here at Cupfront Above. We get to lunchtime, we have a ham and cheese croissant. We uh, get to dinner time, and we've been dealing with um, drug addicts all day, and so we end up having a meal at McDonald's and falling asleep, and then it all happens again. We are undernourished, we are malnourished uh, as an individual and as a team. And um, I did some research, the word, um, Nutrition it comes from the Latin word uh, nutrio, which I meant, you know, I'm, I'm a mother breastfeeding a baby, and um, that care of um, a mother to a child um, was that nourishment and the nurturing. And we've got all these words that come from that one word nutrio, nutrition being one, but uh, nursery, like a plant nursery, where a gardener cares for uh, plants until they're, you know, grown. Um, so we've got all these words that, um, that from that one fundamental thing, and that's our mission at Cup for Above is to love and connect. And nourish, uh, nurturing and nourishing is a part of um, loving and loving as a community and as individuals, loving ourselves. Um, I want to place a focus on that, that we are first ourselves nourished and out of the abundance of our uh, the nutritious food that we eat and the the, um, the way we conduct ourselves as a community that we're in a state of emotional abundance um, and then out of the overflow of that we're able to offer support and love um, to the people who are in crisis situations and then to share also that nutrition like literally food but also nourishing care, that, that um, uh, the, the love that is necessary, the, the patience that is necessary to deal with these guys. We're not in a place of exhaustion when they're talking to us, we're in a place of um, rest and we're able to give fully. Um, so to champion that, um, Sue is gonna be uh, taking on uh, managing that and how we do that, we've got obviously um, we've got some limitations because we don't have a food license yet. So 2016 is going to be about um, fundraising the cash we need to f uh, get the kitchen at Cup from Rub done so that we can create healthy, nutritious food to give away to homeless folk and people in crisis situations. Um, we've got some creative solutions on how we can do that up until then. Uh, we're going to implement them as of tomorrow, Monday. Part of the solution is going to be um, having more healthy boundaries so that we're going to um, probably decrease, if anything, the quantity um, of what we do and then make sure that the quality of the care that we do is 
first class. It's exactly what is necessary. Um, so we've got to be more disciplined with our boundaries uh, and who we let um, onto the team to do things, but also who we allow in to help. We, we will always give away free food, we'll always be gracious, um, but we're not going to take on people um, who is outside of our scope to deal with. Uh, that's one way we can um, move forward in loving ourselves and uh, be more effective as a charity and as a community. The best thing you can do in 2016 is become a member if you're not already. Um, if you are a member, tell your friends about us so that they can become a member as well. 20 bucks a year, it's cheap as chips um, and it's the best thing you can do to support us. We've got about a dozen people who um, support us on a weekly to monthly basis. They give between $5 and $1,100 a month. Um, so if you would like to donate into what we're doing uh, to help uh, better this community, we would greatly appreciate it. Um, and you can follow the, any of the links on the website to donate. Uh, well, thanks so much, I'm looking forward to a, uh, an even more amazing 2016. Um, and thanks for sharing the journey so far. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you.